Roblox. Seeing that you clicked on this video, you've probably at least heard of the game. But for the uninitiated, all you really need to know is that many consider it to be somewhat of a hellhole, akin to the Minecraft Nether, except it has even more fire and suffering. But another thing Roblox is known for is its unscary horror games. Don't get me wrong, making the player feel scared is definitely not an easy task, and everyone's scared of different things. But trying to make Roblox scary is like trying to make Legos scary. Yeah, I mean, sure, you could give it a good try, but most people just aren't scared of, well, this. But strangely enough, there are quite a few of these Roblox horror games that seem to rise above the rest. Of course, the biggest being Roblox Piggy by Minitoon. Piggy is the fifth most played experience on the entire site, having been played over 10.2 billion times. It's easily the most popular horror game on Roblox. The game is basically a mix between Peppa Pig and Granny, having you collect various keys and items to help you escape a predetermined location. So this game got really popular, and with popularity comes, well, money. And Piggy made a lot of money. With this newly found success, Minitoon decided to create merchandise and toys, because if you want to grow a successful empire, you gotta have merch. But there's something interesting going on with these toys. When you buy them, they come with a code that you can use to get in-game items. However, since Roblox wouldn't allow Minitoon to add codes to the Piggy merch, at least not without being paid a percentage of the revenue, Minitoon would have to come up with a different idea of what the codes should be used on. Then comes in Piggy Hunt, a spin-off of the ever-popular Roblox game. It was released on Early Access for $5 in September 2021, but the game was later made free-to-play in November that same year. So in this video, I'll be figuring out whether this game is good, or more importantly, whether it's worth playing. For a game designed specifically to use your download codes, this UI really isn't all that great. Parts of it look visually appealing, sure, but the whole thing just looks like it was more so designed to be on a mobile port, which is something that doesn't exist at the moment. Since the game is free, the main way it makes money is with microtransactions. In this case, there's an option to buy piggy tokens and bacon to get cosmetic skins and outfits. These are shown at the top of the screen. On the right, you could start the game and go to a shop, where you can buy your livestock as well as get some bling for your character. And on the right there are some basic things, like a tutorial, mail, daily rewards, and a button to leave the game. Also, something pretty notable is that a lot of the footage I used is from several months ago, December to be more specific. But that doesn't really matter all that much, because the only changes I've noticed between versions is that they fixed a major visual error in one of the menus. Like, all, all these settings are called the item shop. I think it's a placeholder, but he just forgot to remove it. <laughs> they just they just kept it in the game. Besides that, and a redone UI, they didn't really change anything. No new maps or even in-game items. Like in the Roblox game, the infected is usually a player. Unless you choose for another game mode, that is. But unlike the Roblox game, there aren't any bots in Piggy Hunt, so you're forced to play against real people. This has its benefits, but it could often just be seen as annoying. Having bots in your game can make the game possible to be played alone, so there's little to no reason to straight up exclude them. For the survivors, the main goal is to escape the house. You do this by searching for keys and completing various tasks all while being chased by the infected. The job of the infected is pretty easy to grasp. You basically want to MURDER EVERY ONE OF THOSE GODFORSAKEN HUMANS! So the gameplay and, dare I say, horror of this game comes from the piggy chasing you down. Now here's- First off, there are more players than there are infected, which makes sense. Friday the 13th the game and Dead by Daylight do the same thing. But the thing that balances those games out and not Piggy Hunt is that the hunters are always better off than the survivors. In Piggy Hunt though, they throw this logic right out the window, having the infected at an almost constant disadvantage. The default speed of the piggy is automatically set to be less than the survivors, which would be fine if there was like a stamina system, but there isn't. When you're in a chase as the infected, the game just isn't fun. You're constantly being outran, and even if they do slow down enough to let you get close, they could easily use one of the many tasers found around the map. On a side note, doesn't this game take place in an abandoned mansion? Why the fuck are there tasers every 10 feet? Seriously, these things are everywhere and make the infected a complete non-threat. 
and even if you do somehow get lucky enough to seemingly trap someone into a corner, they can just hop into a vent and all of a sudden be at the other side of the map, which forces you to slowly make your way back, only to repeat the same thing all over again. And even if you do get lucky enough to kill a single person, they could still be annoying even after they're dead. When you become a ghost, you get the ability to stun the piggy three times. And unsurprisingly, this is also really annoying. So rant aside, there actually are some options you have as Piggy. You can choose between three types of traps. The regular trap, the slow trap, and the teleporting trap. You also automatically get a trail to the nearest survivor when you stop moving. But even with these little things, the amount of disadvantages is just too much to balance it out. But don't worry, if you're playing with friends, you can make the settings funny. Looks like you don't have to worry about catching your victims ever again. You might have noticed that a lot of my footage looks like it was played on the same map, but it wasn't. The devs just decided that instead of making different maps, they just use different layouts of the same house instead. Now you don't need a ton of completely different maps and settings, but more content is usually the better way to go. So here's what I propose. What if instead of just having house 1, house 2, and house 3, what if it had randomly generated seeds, kinda like an SCP containment breach, where it can generate a similar but unique site each time you start a new game? Not only would this change add seemingly infinite content, but it would also give the game an excuse for the maps feeling so samey. A side effect of everything always being online is that there are a lot of issues that can come up when playing the game. Everything was fine when I recorded some footage back in December, but for some reason the servers are now genuinely god-awful. It took over a minute and 30 seconds just to find a game. This was directly followed by having to wait another full minute just to load into the server. And even once I got in, there was a shit ton of rubber banding and lag in general. At one point, the entire server just stopped and the game ended. Now, these aren't great signs, but that only happens when the servers actually work which sometimes, it just doesn't. Obviously this doesn't need to be stated, but when the servers are so bad you literally can't play the video game, then there are some underlying issues here. Piggy Hunt was a game specifically designed for people to use their DLC codes from merchandise. The entire game just seems like it was an afterthought. Some animations seem unfinished, and the graphical updates the game's gotten actually made the game look worse. So I just can't recommend this. I always try to find the good in games and media, like even this thing. But I genuinely couldn't find anything I like about Piggy Hunt. This game's undeniably bad. And I don't think anyone really expected otherwise to begin with. I want to wrap things up by thanking all the people who decided to join my Discord server since the last video. It's really great to see some activity in there again, and if you like my content or just want someone to talk to, I highly recommend taking a look. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs>